Live. Okay, sorry, sorry guys. Now we live. Sinas is a new hoster. I'm so sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will have the very first semi-final of the Scary Cow Cup coming up. We had a very, very fierce time attack qualification. 16 players managed to qualify themselves for the semi-finals. We have the first eight contenders right here. We have Laudis, Skandir, Joey, Energize, Evon, Coco, Xyreal, and Isfo in this one. Top two will make it to the grand finals. The other six are out. So here we go. Good luck and have fun. Five maps, four rounds on each. No Coupe Le De Monde mode. We will just be collecting points here. Okay, Skander with a different approach. Tries to go for a, a more right line. Has to lift off and this map is very, very speedy. So you want to keep that momentum going throughout the whole map. We have Joey who is stumbling just a little bit going onto the magnet section. It is Coco now leading. Energize in hot pursuit. Evon, the keyboard Polish giant, is trying to attack for that second and maybe first place. We have Skander with a huge mistake. Joey as well. Let's go back up front. We have Evon now battling for second place. Coco in first. Energize trying to attack, but it is Evon who snipes the inside line. We even have Laudis with an incredible last turn. He is actually getting third place. All right, that is round one in the books. Let's actually stay on board with Laudis. He goes for a wider approach here. Gets a very early landing. Collects that momentum. Evon is uh, taking uh, the lead, however. We did see Skander with that interesting jump here. Jumped all the way to the right. Same thing for Laudis with a very nice inside line. Let's go a little bit back here on board with Joey, who is finding himself in third place. Definitely an up-and-coming player here. Laudis with an incredibly tight line there. Onto the magnets we go. Joey goes for a wider approach, collecting all that speed. But can he actually close the gap towards the front here with Avon Skandir? And does the same mistake again. Gets a little bit of airtime and Joey hits the wall. Will lose a little bit of time there. Energize coming up to the last turn. It is Laudis still in first place. But can Energize now snipe it back? Yes, he does. Previous round, he was the person who was getting sniped. But now, he is actually taking that third place away from Skandir. Laudis with the 30 points there. Very, very nice round by Laudis. The only 48th time uh, in this round, actually. Uh, very, very solid performance by Laudis. All right, we have round three on this map. Frankenstein by Lakadal. Let's uh, have a look at Xerio. Oh, Joey with a mistake. It might be the nerves that are uh, hitting Joey here. Xerio goes for a very wide line. Can he keep it? No, he has to let go of his acceleration. Way too much here. And you can see the snowball effect that it has when you do one turn bad on this map. Isfo, apparently a TMNF legend, quite unknown to my uh, to my knowledge, but he made it to the semifinals, which is already incredible. So, Isfo right now in sixth place. He is actually battling it out with Xerio in this ending, but he makes a mistake. Can he make the jump? Yes, he can. And we do have Laudis again. With the only 48.9. So Laudis getting another 30 points added to his collection. And the two favorites that uh, chat picked out, Laudis and Evon, they are right now in first and second. Let's have a look at Coco. He has a horrific start. But Coco is a uh, legend. And he is definitely capable of uh, catching up here. Goes very tight. Knows that there is a magnet block. We see Joey actually opting for some different approaches. But Coco is snacking on Joey like it is a breakfast croissant. Coco all the way up to fourth place. Now Skandir once again 
he is getting that airtime in that section. Coco with very nice lines there, but loses it out on this left-hander. It is Loudest once again, who most likely is going to get another 48. And Avon right on his tails, though, with a 48.9. So only one-tenth behind Loudest. Very, very fast times right now by these two guys. Definitely show that they have uh, prepared a lot. But you got you to gotta see that third, fourth, and fifth are all incredibly close to one another. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Getting hot in here. Next map coming up. It is not Moo, it is Dracula's Den by Simply Nick. All right, let's have a look at the points here. Loudis, <clears throat> after map one, 111 points. Evon, 92 points. Scandir with 77. Coco, 75. Energize, 73rd. 73rd? 73. Serial, 38. Isfo, 32. And Joey, 26. These were definitely my picks as the underdogs. Um, and yeah, a little bit uh, maybe not used to match formats. But they are doing good so far. One warm up here on Dracula's Den. Very interesting uh, area here where you have a water bounce, which will give you water wheels. And that uh, completely modifies your, uh, your car handling. So let's see who can handle their car the best here. Nine seconds remaining on this warm up. And here we go. Joey, Isfo, and Xerial really need to step it up here if they want to join the party at the top. Very, very difficult start. You got to get it as smooth as possible. You cannot do it full speed. And we do have Energize, who has made a blunder early on already. Can he recover from this mistake? So far, it doesn't look like it, but we do have the water bounces that can already cause a lot of trouble. Here we see Energize getting quite nice speed all the way. Oh my god, goes for a huge respawn. It is a standing respawn even, and that is going to cost him heaps of time. Isfo is doing a pretty good job here. Holding that fifth place, battling with Joey. However, Loudis, who uh, did very well on previous map, is uh, struggling in this very first round on Dracula's Den. But he gets the snipe! 13 thousandths of a second between uh, Laudis and Isfo in that ending there. Great battle at the top though. Coco, 54-6 and Evan with a 54-7. Coco now getting closer to that second place. Oh, Isfo, this is exactly it. You cannot afford to make a blunder in the start. And he does it again. Goes for the respawn. Ay, ay, ay. And this is not a good round for Isfo here. As we move on to the top four placings. Laudis, Coco, Scandir, and Avon. All battling it out here. They all opt for the left side of the tree. You can see water wheels. You, can, uh, you get skid marks. And uh, a lot of people are struggling with it. Look at the time loss by Scandir because of uh, not handling his car that great compared to the others. Oh, Avon does get a terrible gear here. Let's stay on board with the top battle here. Loud is going for a very wide approach. Trying to close the gap towards Coco. But it is Avon who comes back very strong. Who is going to take it? Avon with a very low jump. But it is Loudis once again sniping. The, uh, the points away and uh, collects his 30 points. Laudis is on a roll right here, ladies and gentlemen. Laudis doing a fantastic job so far in this first semi-final. Oh, just as I expected. Scandir with the mistake. Let's stay on board with Joey. 
lovely transition there with the reactor boost into the slope. Joey is getting a lot of speed prior to this. Oh my days. He just barely misses the tree. But he's doing good. Cancels his slide immediately. It is once again Avon, Coco and Laudis in that top three battle. But look at Joey. He's trying his best to hold on to that fourth position. Let's have a look at Laudis, who might have a much better ending than uh, the, the, the other players here. But this time around, he is not able to get the snipe done. And uh, will have to accept a third place here. All right. Last round on this map. We can already see the gaps growing bigger and bigger. With every round played. Okay, nice package deal right here. We have about six players within one tenth of another. Coco with a very inside line manages to keep his grip, but I think Skander in the long run will have the upper hand here. Yes, he is closing the gap. But can he get all the way to that first place? He does have a perfect cancel of the water wheels. Coco, however, holding that first place like a true warrior. Scandir goes very wide for that extra speed. Will it pay off in the long run? Coco loses out. It is Scandir who is taking over that first place. What is Loudis doing? Loudis might even snipe Coco. Yes, he... Wait. Coco made a huge mistake. And it is Serial who gets third. Loudis gets second even. Damn. Huge mistakes made in the end by Coco. <clears throat> and we go to map number 3. Dri, Dry. Three. Treize. Trois. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one warm up here once again on Casper's Cavern. This is the second map made by Simply Nick. Very, very nice map. If we look from the tippy top here, you can see that uh, you start at the top and you make your way all the way down to the finishes. Once again, this map has a small water bounce section. Very uh, difficult to control, as we've seen on the previous map. A lot of uh, people uh, make mistakes whenever there's water. So let's see what this map will be given. Loudest, 201 points. Evan, 181. Coco, 164. Scandir, 147. Energize, 102. Xerial, 101. Joey, 88. And Isfo with 59 points. Coco, if he wants to have a shot, needs to get a lot of points on this map. Scandir, same boat. They need to stay ahead of Laudis and Evon if they want to make the top two here. Crazy round here, though. Look at this, guys. We have so many players next to one another, and it is switching all over the place. Scandir, Energize, Laudis, and Coco. All within two tenths of another. It is going to be the finish line. Who is going to decide who takes it? It looks like Scandir is going to take it. Energize in second, Laudis in third, Coco in fourth. Avon in fifth, and this is really good for both Scandir and Energize, as they will get closer to Laudis and Avon. Yep, especially Scandir with that big boy 30 points will close close in about 15 seconds, uh, 15 points now to the top.
Here we go. Round number two. Skandir once again taking the lead. Is this going to be the map where Skandir is going to just overthrow all the other players here? Coco cutting a little bit of that grass to slow down without actually releasing or breaking. That is very, very smart. And he is in second place. Different approach here. Coco tried to go for a strat. That takes the, the landing smooth. Avon with a small failure, but it is looking like Skandir and Coco are going to be the top players once again. 30 points for Skandir. <laughs> Skandir is just popping it and popping it off right here on this map. Already collected 60 points and look at that. Boom! Boom! Pow! Boom, boom, pow. He is now only two points behind Avon. That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. And here we see Loudis once again having a lot of trouble with a horrible start. Is actually in last place and has no speed on this long stretch here. As you can see, losing out on quite a lot of momentum here. Energize with a wide approach. Has to let go of his acceleration quite a bit to make the turn. Once again. Oh, no. Loudis slides out with the water tires. Very, very difficult to control the car, ladies and gentlemen. It is looking like Skander is once again going for a victory here. Coco has a lot more speed, but he slides out a little bit wide and gets overtaken by Evon. Wow. Coco even gets sniped by Energize, who had an incredible speed boost in that finish Skander once again getting the 30 points but great job by Evon to minimize the point loss here and we now have a new second player which is Skander Loudis once again with not a good start as you can see ladies and gentlemen finds himself again in 7th place Bottom fragging. Oh, huge mistake. Who was that? Cereal. All right. It was Cereal who hit the checkpoint. Coco now with a fantastic start. Look at F on his speed in the water bounce. He shoots forward, but it is Skander who is still lurking in the shadows in third place. Skander needs to stay close by Evon. Oh no, Evon clipped the end and he's going to get overtaken by so many people. Can he even make the finish line? No, he can't. He has to go for the safe finish. Ladies and gentlemen, huge mistake by Evon here. Oh no. Evon now. He has an uphill battle. This might have not been his best map, but there are still two maps remaining. We still have two maps remaining. Maybe Evon can do some damage on this map, which is Nos Feratu by Lokodal. Yes. All right, 50 second warm up. Let's have a look at the at the points here because uh, Laudis had an incredible map one, but we see there's only 12 points difference now between Laudis and Skandir. So his lead has been diminishing with every single round played so far. Skandir, great comeback. Coco 253, Evon 239. Energize now is falling behind, but. He can still do some damage. He just needs to have that good map. Finish him first a couple times. Hope that the other players are making a little bit of a mistakes. And then Energize is back in business. Here we go. 
one of the more technical maps right here coming up interesting start you want to make sure that you do an air break that you land perfectly smooth and avon is showing how you are supposed to not do it does not get the smooth landing very nice inside line gotta control the gears gear management is a key thing on this map in particular oh loudest is struggling manages to stay in fifth place that is pretty good we do have energized we just talked about him he is the person who needs to get the points and as you can see he is finding himself in first place but can he keep it together there is a risky finish can he jump in the finish collect his 30 points he goes a little bit wide but he makes it and it is energized with 30 points here and he does close the gap a little bit towards Evon here because Evon with a poor round only getting 11 points here we go oh we see some risky gamers out here they are trying to min max the start to the perfection and it seems like Massa has officially cursed joey and energize because they simultaneously crashed at the same time yes they are finding themselves in a horrible position right now but let's focus at the tippy top we have coco going a little bit of a wide jump wow minus one million that is like the amount of shiba inu that i had holy moly loudis is currently in first place coco in second it's all gonna come down to the ending here as we have Loudis holding first, Skander in second, Coco in third, and Evon in fourth place. Very, very nice race here. That is what I'm talking about. 50.2, 50.3, 50.4, 50.6. Beautiful, 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 beautiful round here. Good job. And that is a great round for Loudis. Okay, okay. Everyone surviving the start. Joey goes a little bit wide. Now has a very awkward ending on the grass section. Then again, he is battling with Cereal and Energize. It's like a trifecta. They are also all, all at the bottom of the pack. We did see a mistake here. Oh, no. We see another mistake here by Isfo. Oh, no. Coco with a huge crash as well. What is happening? This is an easy free WW gamer moment by Evon as he is now in first place Loudis in second battling with Scandier I think Loudis might have a little bit more speed but it all comes down to the final left-hander who is gonna risk it for the biscuit it is gonna be Scandier who can come closer to Loudis but he cannot take it and it is Evon who takes the 30 points oh my god <sighs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The crows agree. All right. Oh, a huge mistake by Loudis. This is a very important round then for the other players because Loudis is still 20 points ahead, but Loudis now is in last place. Isfo is absolutely blasting this round here. He is battling for first place even. But it is Skandir who is now ahead of him. Great water bounce by Skandir. Holy macaroni. Isfo in second. Coco in third. Evon in fourth. The ending is going to decide everything. Evon is challenging Coco for that third place. Maybe Evon can even challenge Isfo for that second place. It's all going to depend on this enemy. But Coco goes for a snipe. Oh! my god coco and isfo both make the mistake but isfo luckily manages to get in the ring finish and coco had to opt for either the respawn or the safe in here and wow what a round there that was the final round on nosferatu and we are going into the final map right here the last map with the most insane risky finish 
Who is going to take it? This is a finish that can decide a 30-pointer or you getting last. Here we go. Scary Cow Michael Myers. Made by Locodal. Let's have a quick rundown of the points here. Skandir is now the new leader. Ladies and gentlemen, who would have thought that we see Skandir make an ultra sick comeback? 359 points for Skandir. Loudest, 354. Evan, 322. Coco, 315. We have an insane battle for top two here. That is the amount of players that are going to go to the grand final. Ladies and gentlemen, we are playing for top two. Not top four, top two. Energize is a little bit too far behind now. So he will most likely remain in that fifth place. But man, oh man, this is going to be a crazy top four battle. And it's all going to be decided in this ending. They don't even have enough warm up time to test the end. That is kind of spooky. Scary skeleton. That shiver down your spine. Zappy doopy tappy doo. Riva pa doo doo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round one out of four right here. We're going to stay on board with Coco Chanel. He is actually taking first place. Very nice line here by Coco. And Coco needs these points. He is in fourth with 315 points. Okay, the top four is battling for the top four. That is crazy to see. Evan has made a huge mistake. Oh my God, another one. The end. Here it comes. Wow. And there you go. Evan still manages to get in because he did the risky finish. But we do have Coco. Who was in fourth place? He hit the pillar. Coco, who was in fourth place, is now in third place. One point difference between Skandir and Laudis. Bit of a different approach here for Laudis. Evon is now joining the party at the top as well. Evon needs to win all of these rounds if he wants to have a say in this semi-final. Great lines by Evon. Skandir currently doing a good job in fifth place. But you got to remember, the points difference is so... It's almost nothing! What is happening? All of these guys are within one-tenth of each other. It's going to all be decided in the ending. Who's going to have the best ending here? Oh no, Evon makes a mistake! Evan crashes. No, Lotus! Wait, he finishes, but it's... Oh, my dear Lord. I need to go and grab some corn. Holy moly. Skander, who is in first place, actually snipes and gets 30 points. Wow. So what did you guys eat for breakfast? Okay, Coco really needs to step it up. And he is currently doing a good job here. Battling together with Evon. But Skandir and Laudis, as you can see, are in third and fourth place. And Evan goes for the risky strategy and he falls for the blunder. We do, however, have Coco in first place. We did see him make a small blunder last time around. Can he now get it? Yes, he can. But, ah, man, man, man. Skandir and Laudis are just too good here. We need a miracle. Coco needs a... Coco needs a miracle. 
Laudis needs to get last place. Laudis needs to basically get disconnected from the server, get zero points, and Coco needs to win. It can happen. It can definitely happen. Here we go, though. This is the final round of semifinals number one. Evon has made a huge blunder. Great performance, though, by Evon throughout this whole semi. Just the last two maps didn't go his way. We have another mistake. That is Joey, who does not get the greatest angles. And it's looking like Laudis, Skandir, and Coco are going to be battling for the top positions here. With Laudis and Skandir, the current one and two. Also the one and two in this round. Coco trying his best to get a nice entry. But it's not going to be enough. Great time once again by Laudis. Skandir gets second. GG, well played. Skandir and Laudis. There we go. That is semi-final one completed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful match. Laudis and Skandir will be in the grand final later tonight at 8 o'clock. That is after cup of the day. Um... Skandir, 460 points. Laudis, 451 points. Coco, just a little bit below with 413 points. Definitely could have made it, but crumbled just a couple rounds. Evon in fourth. Energize, fifth. Serial, sixth. Joey in seventh. And Isfo in last place. Guys, get a Drake for everyone. Drake for everyone. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. We're going to 